Hello and good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I got up this morning to do photography, but I didn't know what I was going to shoot. So I brought everything, I brought, I brought landscape gear, I brought wildlife gear, I brought macro gear. And when I took off this morning, there was an amazing fog. So, so far what I've been doing is just driving around. I've got the R6 Mark II with the 24 to 105 F4 on it. And I'm just looking for compositions that I can shoot from the car. And the first one that I came across was these hay bales in this field uh, with the fog in the background. So that's my first shot. I need to have some compositions already scouted out. So when it's foggy on photography day, I know exactly where to go instead of driving around aimlessly just looking for something. But I am happy with this shot. I'm glad I found it and it turned out pretty nice. I hope you like it too. I have shifted gears completely. That was the only fog photo that I managed to get this morning. And now I'm at the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge, which is a place that you stand way back around the corner at the little gazebo and make photographs of sandhill cranes in the wintertime. But it's June now, June 14th, I think, maybe 15th. And I'm just gonna walk around this thing and see if I can find some wildlife to photograph. So we'll see. Also, as you can see from this angle, it's beautiful here. The first bit of wildlife that I've stumbled across is this turtle right here. Made a couple of photos. I made my first turtle photograph from kind of far back, trying to get the entire turtle in the shot. And then it was so chill, I decided to make a close-up shot. So here is the close-up shot. And if you look closely at this close-up shot, you'll see the turtle is being harassed by two mosquitoes, which are biting it right now. This thicket behind me is absolutely full of birds. I've heard prothonotary warblers. I've heard common yellow throats. I've heard yellow breasted chats. I've heard orchard orioles, all sorts of stuff. And I've been trying to get a shot for a long time and I finally got one. I got a common yellow throat. Here is the common yellow throat shot. And this is a bird that I call the uncommon yellow throat, but I guess it is kind of common if you find the right habitat and the right time of year. What is uncommon is getting them to land in a space where you can get a clear shot and stay there long enough to make that shot. But I managed to get one. I think I got the orchard oriole too, uh, really small in the top of a small tree over here. Small in the frame, that is. It was really nice to see an orchard oriole. This is a male orchard oriole. And I think this is the second week in a row that I've managed to get a photograph of one, which is unusual for me. I got the indigo bunting, I'm pretty sure. I'm still missing the prothonotary warbler and the yellow-breasted chat that I've been hearing. and. I haven't seen either one of them, just been hearing them. I managed to get a number of photographs of the beautiful blue indigo bunting. Here's one facing in one direction and here's another one on that same perch, this time facing in the other direction. The next shot was kind of in a different tree, low down and hiding in the foliage, looking cute, sticking its head out. And the next one is in the same type of tree, this time way at the top, just looking absolutely beautiful a little bit backlit in this shot. Well, I felt something on my leg, so I reached down into my boot and I pulled a tick off my leg. It wasn't embedded. And then I started feeling other stuff because I was paying more attention to what I was feeling instead of what I was seeing, which is what I often do when I'm doing bird photography. I just ignore myself getting eaten by ants. And I ended up pulling five more ticks off of my legs. So uh, I guess that prothonotary warbler is not worth all of that, so I'm gonna try another location and maybe walk all the way back to the car and reapply bug spray. Well, this video has no theme, except for the theme is no theme. I've shifted gears again. As I was walking back down this gravel road towards the car, I came out of that forest area and these little plants lining the road, I saw a soldier beetle. And so I switched to my RF 100 macro lens, which I had with me, the Mikey MK320 flash and the Crafty Bells diffuser. And I'm gonna do a little macro photography this morning. Here is the soldier beetle shot. This is a goldenrod soldier beetle. Kind of easy to find these sometimes. And I think they're very photogenic. So I'm always happy to find a goldenrod soldier beetle. I found an assassin bug and took four or five shots. Most of them were out of focus, but I think the very last one was in focus. And then the assassin bug fled the scene. So hopefully that one's in focus. And if it is, I'll show it to you now. I misidentified this little creature in the field. I called it an assassin bug, but it's a fork-tailed bush Katie did. 
Either way, it was kind of cute and I was really happy to get a shot before it left the scene. I didn't talk about photographing this little creature. This is a webworm moth. I actually got two shots of this creature, but they weren't the same one. This is a different one in a slightly different location than the last one. Beautiful little creature. And I also managed to get a photograph of another goldenrod soldier beetle. This is a different one as well from the one I saw earlier. Really enjoy photographing both of these. I just found the most patient skipper. It's just sitting here. I may even be able to get it on the frame with the pocket too. I think it should be in the frame from right there. Cute little guy. I was able to make several shots. Using Google image search, I was able to identify this as a three spotted skipper. Super cute. I love it when some of the wings are going up and some are flat. It makes them look like a fighter plane. This next creature is a common Eastern firefly. The last time I thought I photographed a firefly, it was a firefly cockroach, but this one is a real firefly and I'm much happier to have this version. There's some beautiful flowers up here near the gazebo and I just went all the way up to F4 and made a shot of the biggest one and tried to bokefy some of the smaller ones and uh, the whole group in the background. I don't know how it turned out, but we'll see. This beautiful flower is an orange daylily, and they have so many of them there near the gazebo. I was happy to make this shot of the largest one with all the rest of them bokefied in the background. I thought it turned out really nice. It has been an eclectic day of photography. It definitely wasn't a great day of landscape photography, and it wasn't a great day of bird photography, and probably not a great day of macro photography either. But when you combine them all together, I had a really good morning of photography in general. I hope you liked it as well. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more stuff like this, subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge.